<laughs> Woo! Woo! And we're back recording another episode today. Dude, I just want to fucking. I just want to smoke and watch more South Park, dude. Fuck this podcast bullshit. Fuck this fucking podcast nonsense. These fucking. You know what? You gotta be a real sad sack of shit to be listening to this anyway. So why don't you go? Fu- Stop listening. Go do something else with your time. Because we don't want you here. We don't want to fucking be doing this. And then everyone's like, God damn, that dude. We should fucking this. Yeah, awesome. This is much better than those assholes who beg for likes and subscriptions. Hey guys, just want to remind you that over 70% of you are not subscribed. It's like, yeah, because you fucking suck. That's why. Guys, just want You're to- a drama channel. I hate you. I was just curious about your topic. What's up, guys? Beijing Canadian here. It's AKA Mitch. Mitch. Hey guys, what's up? Beijing Canadian. If you could just please, for the love of God, let's start I a just put it down. I just, I, I just put a deposit down on this. Please, for the love of God, just watch the video. Have you seen. How hot my girlfriend is. Hey guys, I can't they're married hold now. On to that hey guys, I can Mitch I here. ever get through a fucking Hey guys, joke? there's no. a fucking idea. There's a fucking idea. No, I don't want to do it. Now. I don't want to. I don't want to. I'm the Beijing Canadian. Hey guys, I love how YouTubers are such whores too. They're like, yeah, you know how I was playing every day of the calendar year for the last three years with this one YouTuber? Well, now I'm never going to play with him again. And I'm going to be really angry if any of you in the comments section even bring attention to it. Because <laughs> it's not at all weird or abnormal to change my schedule for the last 365 days. Right, I don't care that I can, pl- I don't care that you came here to only watch me play Roblox and that now I'm playing fucking Destiny 2. Okay, <laughs> I don't care that you watch me play with the same guy for the last 947 days. I'm not playing with him anymore. And if you ask me why you're a fake fan and a piece of... It's like, you see how Jordan Pearson nowadays is just calling everyone... And he, all he knows how to do is, like, if you say anything even remote... It doesn't even be negative. If you, make a com- if you comment on his video and your YouTube channel doesn't have fucking your first, last name, social security number, he's like, <laughs> pathetic. The anonymity of people online. Complete trolls. 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 Anonymity. Trolls. Losers. Pathetic. Pathetic. Losers. Anonymity. Trolls. Losers. Anonymity. <laughs> Who did you say this Jordan was? Peterson's a fucking psychopath. Yeah, he's insane. He, like, loses his mind people for comp like I'm, um, I'm actually that's not actually hard. Um, actually that's not true at all actually actually if you're not using your name on the internet you actually have no business to speak on and it's like first off dick I don't think there was ever a part of the internet where they're like you have to use your first and last name for everything and the last for your social security this fucking uh, chuckle fuck he's like mm, yes I actually stopped eating everything except for me now I feel phenomenal I'm no longer depressed well, I'm no longer depressed at all it's cause I was like yeah okay dude uh, I eat a lot of meat dude oh, yeah, uh, he's, he's, he's insane that dude Hold on, no. listen to this. Listen to this comment legitimately. This is a real. I'm gonna read this like verbatim. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. this is an actual thing from Jordan Peterson. Dude, what time is it? Fucking ten thirty. Uh, Can we just stop? Uh, hold on. You mean if you what to do? Jordan, <laughs> Jordan Peterson. Peterson. I'm doing that bull since you just refuse to do it. No, you're not. Yeah. yeah. Jordan. I love when YouTube is like. Oh God, it's so fucking annoying. Dude. Oh my God. What's up? I can't find this. What are you talking about, bro? The video. What's talking about Willis? Nice man. What you talking about? What you talking about, Sandler? Found it. Nice. All right, ready for this shit? This is fucking hilarious. Okay. Isn't he in the car with Norm? Yeah. Th- that's so funny. <laughs> that's weird. I feel fine. <laughs> My face will itchy though. So this person commented saying, "Starting to figure out that there are two Jordan Petersons: the one that became popular for standing up for what he believed in, the one that fits well in the environment that he created him. That created him. Here we see the university prep." We see the university professor in his natural environment regurgitating prescriptive talking points to please the establishment, just like university students are taught to do, like trained seals. That's a dick comment. Whatever. Jordan Jordan responds, You are utterly pathetic. You have no idea what you're talking about, and your massive anonymity is a true indication of your cowardice. Oh, yeah. Next comment. <laughs> oh, you I'm got not me. Read that person's thing, okay? All you gotta know is it says the word Jewish like 18 times. Oh, my God. And he responds, another coward hiding behind his anonymity. Pathetic. Same video. Jeez. Next comment, right? Another person says something, which isn't even an insult. This person's like genuinely asking a question, like saying, hey, I want to get your opinion on this. Uh-huh. And his response is, another coward hiding behind his anonymity. <laughs> Pathetic. Kidding. You're kidding. <laughs> See the check mark? That's Jordan Peterson's YouTube page making these comments. What a loser. The next one, okay? Uh... All right, read that one. You're utter, you're this person. This interview is a good example of when your employer forces you to do undesirable tasks to keep your job. Mm. He responds, "You are an utterly pathetic anonymous troll with all the courage your anonymity requires." It's like buzzwords for him. He's like <laughs> anonymity and troll and pathetic and utterly and anonymous. 
and courage and require. And you're he's a lunatic. Did you think he's Here's a tweet from 16 hours ago. <laughs> By failing to separate the anonymous cowardly troll demons from real people in the comments section at YouTube and other SM platforms are enabling sadistic Machiavellian psychopaths and narcissists. Agree or disagree? Poll? No one agreed. Next one. Except you. This, and then he quote tweeted that saying, this exposes us all to a radically polarizing influence of small percentage of truly bad lull-seeking dementors, the true danger of virtualization. Did Harry Potter count that week? Yeah, but he was saying that, he said truly bad lulls-seeking. So this person was taken seriously, is saying the word lulls instead of like laugh out loud for the, the lulls, the laughs. <laughs> so this full-grown adult is saying, you're pathetic, you are pathetic, you are you are a coward anonymity. Then he also says, lulls? Yeah, and then someone comments on that one saying, anonymity is my right to privacy. Keep your hands off it. And he responds to that guy saying, coward. Nice. It's like when a fucking five-year-old gets into a fight with someone. This is a, and also, it's like, aren't you a millionaire? Yeah, it's kind of a little And you're on bitch. Twitter calling someone a coward? Also, I've heard him talk. He seems to- Deranged. Know how to talk about things at, at, at nausea. He at seems- nausea. <sighs> Um, my point is, though, he can't think of anything else to say. No. And also, apparently all he does now is just all, apparently even his episodes of his actual thing. I never, I never, I never ever listened to him talk on his own thing. But apparently on his own stuff, he apparently like, and now it's like, where, let's say he uploads for an hour, like the first 45 minutes is just him saying, and you know what, here's another comment that pissed me off with these anonymous trolls. Here's, here's, a, here's another thing. Here's another thing, actually. Fucking uh, Rachel. Rachel. Fucking Rachel. Loved and like, Rachel? worshipped him. Rachel. And made me listen to like ten of his fucking things. You know what I'm doing? Rachel. Yeah, I do, but I can't think of what it is. Rachel. <laughs> um, Rachel. You give me another line. Uh, I can't actually. I can't. <laughs> I'm not very familiar with his work. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, the guy from Unreal. When he's like Rachel, oh, yeah. the whole season <laughs> for one season, like Rachel, Rachel. And then they have like, what if season four we do we take money dick power to the next level and we have all the baddest come back and it's actually Sherry Appleby. What's her character's name in the movie? Rachel. Yeah, yeah Rachel. Rachel. That makes Rachel. sense. So I said Rachel ten times. That might be why. They're so like, what's uh, what's the other chick's name? Constance. She's um. I don't remember. Dana. No, Dana oh, Gordon's Dana entourage. Show, yeah. <laughs> Rachel. I know it's Chet. Was was um Chet? Craig Bierko. Wasn't he Chet? I think it was. Chad. What the hell was the, what, what was Constance Zimmer's name? Um, Rebecca. Doesn't sound right. Didn't he call her like Rachel. monkey or something or a baby girl or banana? He got a cute little pet name for her. That's what. Her yeah, name what was her name though? Really, the zebra. <laughs> <laughs> that's probably it. Um, uh, uh, shit, what was her name? I don't know. Man. That's really bothered me. Sarah, Unreal. Sarah with an, without an H, without an H, because she's she's a businesswoman. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry. I forgot the very not made up poor name of Quinn King. Oh, that's why we can remember because it's a fucking Because that's a fake name. up made fairy. It's a fake made up fairy tale name. What's your name? Quinn King? Mm, no, it's not. Try again. Who would other than the name Constance Zimmer sounded more realistic than Quinn King? Yeah, Chet Wilton. It's a great name. I thought Craig Bierker was one of those guys who's like, yeah, I'm going to have my eye to be a profile picture. Be a picture of me from 2006 so I can still get called for like 30 some odd parts. That's big brain thinking. That's big brain thinking. It's like, interesting, Craig. Yeah, he's talking on the phone to the guy. He's like, you know, Craig, yeah, I, I, you got the right look completely. But just one question. See, I'm looking at your IMDb right now, and you look great. Nice full head of hair, some nice stubble, strong strong jaw, hard nose, nice eyebrows. But, and you look, you, the part's for 35, and hey, you look 35, but it says here you were born August 18th of 1964. I drink a lot of kombucha. And he's like, oh, that's actually, uh, that's actually, um, it's supposed to say 94. <laughs> I mean, he just hasn't fixed that yet. He's just one of those guys who's like constantly chasing it. I saw some <laughs> fucking idiot comedian who apparently like is like is six to buy stuff. Yeah, yeah, probably. <laughs> some, some like some stupid fucking loser, nobody, piece of shit, no good, waste of space, complete fucking limp dick asshole. Just some dickhead comedian who wasn't funny. Well, apparently, it was like, it was just lies about his age. I can't remember his dumb name. I'm not even gonna say. It. This isn't one of those times where like, you know what? I'm not even gonna say the person's name to give them any info. No, I can't. I genuinely can't remember his name because he's a fucking footnote. Okay. Is it that redheaded guy though? No, 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 that guy sucks too though. That's what I thought you were talking about. No, there's some comedian, and again, it's not me saying I can't. I don't even want to say his name and give him any notoriety. I can't remember this loser's. I think his name's Dan. I think it's Dan Nigan or something like that. It's some idiot fucking comedian who. Like his entire branding that like he has self-branded himself as the millennial 
the millennial comedian. Yeah, it's the redheaded he's, guy. No, that guy's not that. That guy thinks he's the greatest person ever at fucking hecklers. He's the king of hecklers or whatever it is. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy is, first off, I would have told you it was the redhead, okay? It's not the redhead, okay? It's, the guy doesn't have red hair. Hey, let's use his name, the top, so he could rip us apart. That'd be pretty fun, actually. But no, this idiot, he fucking is the millenn- He's the self-proclaimed millennial comedian, and he was like 57 years old. Saying he's like, I'm actually, and he's like, I'm actually 33. I'm a millennial. He's just lying about his age. Isn't that the most pathetic fucking thing? If you're 55, here's the, here's the, here's an idea. If you want to be the millennial comedian, and you're not millennial. Don't be a millennial comedian. You know, be that goes against what you said. You you want to be the millennial millennial comedian. What do you mean? You said if you want to be a millennial comedian, but you aren't, don't be the millennial. Comedian. No, if you want to be the millennial comedian, I'm saying you're not a millennial. Don't be the millennial comedian. Be whatever fucking gener- be a different generation. You don't have to be the millennial. Also, no one's like. Oh, this guy's not a millennial. Can't see it. I don't think comedy is the one where it's like you can only be young. I don't think because I think realistically, if you're 19 doing comedy, people probably think you're a fucking asshole. Opposed to if you're like you know in your 30s still doing. Like, hey, he's, yeah, he got through the hard time. He's still doing it. He's making a living for himself. You know. Yeah, that's pretty. I was watching about the guy that he was going on this whole entire thing where he was like fucking. Apparently, he had like this email chain where he would email other comedians saying how well he was doing to put them in their place, and he'd be like. Yeah, I just booked a ten thousand dollar corporate retreat. I'm getting flown first class as always to Corpus Christi, and I'm gonna go out there for three days at a Hilton into a conference room in front of two hundred people. I'm gonna pay ten thousand dollars because I'm rich and I'm a very successful comedian. I'm. Uh, I'm that's how I'm going. That's how I'm, I'm. I'm doing a show in Corpus Christi. <laughs> Did I mention that? I'm actually being flown out first class. Who was this? Same comedian. He would kind of like email other comedians. Mani- m- millennial comedian. Yeah. He like email other comedians saying, "Oh, hello there." I don't know what you're up to tonight, but I'm packing currently for my trip tomorrow. I'm flying to Des Moines, Iowa for a little uh, corporate show I'm doing because I'm a clean comedian and I actually get paid unlike you, who is a loser. And those were his emails he would be sending. Yeah, I don't know. Saying I'm playing the conference with the Hilton doesn't really sound all that impressive. It's actually a Best Western. It wasn't even a Hilton. I was giving him too much credit. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was the Best Western. It's actually, actually I, I, I don't I'm lying. I'm trying, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to be honest. It wasn't, a, it wasn't even a Best Western. It's actually it a Red Roof Motel. Oh. Yeah, Red Roof Inn. Nice. Yeah, man. Well, they do have live comedy every Thursday night at 6 to 7. It's the best hour slot money can buy. Yeah, and it's really good with your coffee, with your morning coffee. Wait, you went 6 a.m.? <laughs> yeah. Yes, of course. It's, it's, when the it's crowd, 6 a.m. Yeah. to 7 a.m. It's the cleanest crowd there is. It's when you guys have coffee and you listen to it. It's, 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 a, it's a lot of one-liners. It's opening It's act, a lot of one-liners. Like, oh, boy, I wish I was at the Hilton. I could have had a waffle now. I like the waffles. That's, that's pretty cool, dude. Starts off. I think I just actually heard some comedian talking about a story about how they broke a waffle maker at a hotel. Yeah, I heard that story too, actually. Well, who was that? I don't think it was a comedian. I think it was on one of those dumb YouTube shorts about some of those dumb guys on podcasts. So it was probably a comedian, actually. Yeah, probably. Oh, man. 12 minutes. 13 minutes now. Fuck. Recording eight episodes at once is not the smartest idea. I don't know why you did this to us. Now, now, now I'm second guessing. Think maybe these are too fucking relaxed. No. Maybe there might be a problem with some of these episodes. Maybe that's a, it's a hot take. Maybe. No, no, man. What if this episode is just like. Let's just, let's just go on the clips page. Ooh. Well, no, what, all, I can upload a 13 minute episode just randomly. As long as it's not norm, I'm going to stop it here. That's true. Technically, let's make it 15, though. <sighs> make it even 15. All right. 90 more seconds starting now. Go. Make sure you don't have to talk. We can just leave soon as soon as the true. episode end. Well, I have to talk because I, I, I have a thought now. I was going to say because it, 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 I was going to say you know if we were smart, we would just stop the recording and then add an extra minute and a half of silence to the actual episode. Yeah. But then I was like, you know what? That's cheating. We're men of our words. We're just going to sit here in silence for a minute and thirty, and That's then why stop I thought the we recording. Did it that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I wanted to point out the nobility of what we were doing. It's you know? incredibly noble. I wanted to show the, the fucking the the cojones that we possess for us to have the kind of the spine we have, the strength. To be able to carry this, to, prom- to actually commit to a minute and a half. The problem is, no one's going to believe that we did that, though. Well, now they know. Now they will start talking in between. Yeah, but they don't know if you cut it. So here's the thing: here's what you got to do. You have to upload the MIDI file with it. I don't know if that's the right term. But you have to just upload the file so we can just watch it right there. And then right. they know for a fact we can edit it. Right, right, right. You can actually cut out that, but it was fucking stupid what I just said. <sighs> There's a fucking surprise. Yeah. <coughs> Thirty seconds, baby. I'm staying on. Thirty brand, seconds. Being stupid. So that makes sense. <sighs> Dude, eight episodes. That's that's a record. Nine. 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 <laughs> you really showed me, Cal. It's a great fucking movie. Nine. The whole, the whole time? It's the same goddamn delivery. It's, it's not the same. The How is it that Julianne Moore and Sally Field delivered the two different lines the exact same way, 20 years apart? Explain it to me. 
I suppose. Look, you, you, look at your revenue. Explain to me. That button. I can't explain it. I can't. I can't. How's that possible? How did Julian Moore say nine, nine, and inside Fields said the whole time, the whole time, in the exact same cadence and tone? Because the guy that wrote that movie said, "Julie, Julia, you're great and all. You gotta do it exactly." Julian Moore, Sally, dude, dude. She, she, he was like this. He she was. He's, she's like, "Is there? Is there? Is there something wrong? You keep. We keep doing more and more takes. I think I'm getting it the same way every time." He's like, "She's saying I can do different." He's like, "Do it more." Do more like uh, be more like Sally Field and Mrs. Duff. I was like, I can do that. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was me very loosely referencing the four old virgin. If you couldn't tell, I be like David Crusoe and Jade. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's hilarious. What, what? Yeah, be a dick to her, man. Be 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 like be like David Crusoe and Jade. Oh, okay, I can do that. Is it David Crusoe the fucking uh, sunglasses guy? Yeah, the one who for about fifteen seconds everyone was like, "This guy's a good actor." That's hilarious. And then then and then now he's the sunglasses guy. That's so funny. What a guy. David fucking Caruso, man. It's 15 minutes. It's 16 now. Might as well just go for him all the way. God damn it. God now, damn it. God damn it. Yeah, we, we, we can stop here, honestly. This is